Hey everyone, uh, this is Dark Princess with the uh, the admin of the Pop-Up MC Minecraft server. And I kind of want to take a minute to sort of explain how I came to the icon that we have now. I thought it'd be a fun little quick video, so let's go ahead and dive right in. So you're probably familiar with this icon, um, or maybe not. Maybe you're actually familiar with the one that's not animated. <laughs> Um, but yeah, um, the original icon, wait for it, started out like this. I know, super fun, right? Um, definitely original, definitely a lot of fun. And I made it in an all of five minutes <laughs> using a generator online. Um, there's a generator that I use for, um, most all the icons I have. Pretty much, I use the Android Asset Studio, and over here we have the material icons, and I can kind of set this over here. These are actually all the original settings that I used. Um, surprisingly, somehow it's still in my search history. Um, so anytime I visit this website, this exact icon and all the original settings pop up, and this is kind of funny. So we have that icon, but it's kind of really boring. Um, the server actually... Um, opened a week before November 1st uh, privately to just a few people um, for alpha testing. This was the alpha testing icon. However, um, when the server moved into beta, which was November 1st, the, fir the first day the server publicly opened, um, we got a little upgrade. It's still not the best. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the icon, it's... Um, yeah, it needs a little bit of work. So, um, and I did recognize that. So, um, but I had the right idea. I was trying to make it all pixelated -y, and I think I kind of, it's kind of how I want it. Um, so then, um, I needed to revisit. So what I decided to do was shrink the icon down really, really small and then apply the same effects, that effect right there. Um, but then blow it up really big. Um, that way as comes out much more naturally pixelated. And we get this. Now that's the icon that stuck around for a really long time, uh, for s several months. Um, later, I went and got it animated because I found a cool website called Photomage. Photomage is really cool. And a Photomage, which is an all-in website, um, popped up this. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. I actually don't remember all the settings I did for that, but we'll get to that in a minute. Um, then, um, the original icon that I wanted was pink. Um, so I wanted a pink icon, but I knew that mostly guys played Minecraft. And so that kind of deterred me from making a pink icon, because I felt like if I did that, then a lot of people would be kind of scared away from it. Um, but then, recently, I decided to just like, eh, you know, let's make a pink icon anyway. And we got this. It's just a recolor. Um, yeah, it's just a simple recolor, uh, but, um, it does mean I have to reanimate it and remember, I don't remember the photo mosh settings. So that was pretty fun. Um, so it's honestly, uh, let's see, not as good. I need to go back and remake it. It's, it's too slow. It's, I don't know. I just don't remember all the original settings for photo mosh. Um, but yeah, this is the old animated photo, and this is a new one that's really kind of bad. But it is a work in progress, and I do kind of like the pink icon. It is kind of something that, like I said, I've always wanted, and I'm really happy to get. This image, um, speaking of which, actually represents a... I picked it because of a grass block. Minecraft is a game of blocks. It's a voxel-based game. And so I wanted the block to represent Minecraft. And I picked green because I decided against pink. Um, and the green would represent sort of like the grass. The actual original one, um, and a much older logo that was never actually used for anything, um, was brown to represent dirt. Uh, but I later changed it to green to represent grass. Um, also, the dirt color was also a very muddy brown color and looked really gross. Um, 
but yeah, the green's a neon green color. I figured a neon color would be really, um, you know, eye catching. And so it's a quick and simple logo for me to make and color as. And, and yeah, it's supposed to be a grass, essentially a grass block. Um, using the first icon that I found that looked grass blockish <laughs> and so original. Um, but yeah, that's the whole history and story behind the Minecraft logo and pretty much all the changes that it's come through. And um, yeah, just a little short, fun video. Bye.